Oh, she really came that way? All right. My name is Alyssa Edwards. All right. I'm known as the Vanessa Williams of drag. All right. I am here to show people I still got it. Hello, you guys. Thank you guys so much for supporting me and my channel. Um, if anybody out there is watching and you like what you see, please subscribe and leave comments. I appreciate it. Thank you. Can you all see me? What's going on, y'all? I mean, they let the music play in the background. Um, I just got done watching Whoop Paws Drag Race. All-Star Season 3, Episode 3. It was, it was a good episode. It was jam-packed. I keep forgetting that the, it's an hour and a, it's an hour and a half long and I'll be like why is it still on but I keep forgetting about that but anyway let's go ahead and get right on into this motherfucking episode because it was it was a good episode but milk was working on my last nerves and I'm gonna go in chronological order we're gonna pretend in this video that we don't know who got eliminated yet until we get to the end that's how we gonna do this so milk was working my last nerves tonight and I was just like you know, bitch, who actually told you that you were like that bitch? Because really, you're really not. Like, your drag is, is, is fucking ugly. Like, I, it just is to me. And anybody, all you Milk fans out there, don't come under my comments because that's just my opinion. I think her drag is fucking ugly and it's despicable. Like, I don't understand. Like, who the fuck? I don't know. You do all this kooky shit and it's not like... Trixie, Ma Trixie Mattel's drag, you, you just take it to another level. Like, you just look like your you, you own. I don't know. I'm going to get off milk for a little while. But it's official, it's official milk. I don't like you, bitch. And I don't see it for you. Um, Is it just me or them suits that RuPaul be wearing be ugly as fuck? I didn't want to say nothing before, but, you know, them suits RuPaul be wearing be ugly as fuck. But RuPaul is iconic as fuck, so that bitch got more money than me, so that bitch can wear whatever the fuck she want to wear, to be quite fucking honest. Um, BB... I was, I was, I said I was going to give her to the third or fourth episode, and it's the third episode, and I'm not really getting anything from bb so i'm guessing bb is like a mole to this and she's just gonna pop up and be like oh yeah i was you know whatever i i don't think she's really here to compete with these girls i think she's here to maybe go back and tell rupaul what's going on maybe with these girls maybe that's what i think is going on i could be wrong but that's what i think is going on um kennedy the beginning of the episode you were very much in your feelings about milk you know what this is a competition and you know what everybody's not going to be your friend and i know you had it out for milk or whatever but get out your feelings because it's really not that serious and not everybody's gonna gonna treat you the same way you treat them not everybody's gonna be like oh it's a sisterhood they don't feel like that they hit at a hundred thousand dollars and it's like oh my god everything goes out the window and it's just that's just how it is and I know you said that no amount of no amount no amount of money can come between like a friendship or whatever. Everybody doesn't feel like that. But you know, it is what it is. Um Chi Chi, you need to get out your head. Because I know you got what it takes. You have grown since you've been on this show. I've been watching your videos on YouTube, your photo shoots that you be having. You, you're too much in your head. You're back to where you were on the episode as to where you're saying like, oh, I don't have what it takes. And you do. Because if you didn't have what it takes, you wouldn't be here. You've grown so much. You've been all over the world since you were on your season. And you've danced the house down boots. You know, you look better. Your makeup has gotten better. Your outfits, is, outfits have gotten better. You have what it takes. Get out your head. And, you know, I totally get how in that... You were partnered up with Shangela. Yeah, Shangela is that girl that she might outshine anybody, but you know, you had to push through. You are funny. You say funny shit all the time, just being Chi Chi. You're funny like that. Like just the way you talk sometimes, the country is country as you are. That's funny as fuck to me. I think you're hilarious. I love you. You were like my favorite on that, that season. Um Aja is really growing on me. 
I'm Team Aja. You know what? I think this is the first season where I don't really... Honestly, I don't really care who wins. It wouldn't matter to me. But I'm going to tell y'all what. Shangela made a post today on Instagram. And she said something about how she was on a work to work the world tour. And uh, she was like... Um, her mom came and she was like, this. her mom was going to bake a lasagna for all the girls. And she was like, no, these girls don't like me right now. I definitely think Shangela is going to win up at this point, up to this point. I, I, that's just what I think. I could be wrong, but I think Shangela is going to win. I don't think Ben, Ben, Ben De La Creme is, is, is um, warming up to me. I really like Ben. I didn't like Ben the first episode. I was like, mm, mediocre, whatever. But that bitch is bringing it, bringing it, bringing it back to back. She's kind of like how Detox was on last season. But you know what? I think Ben is going to get in his head because he's so sensitive. And I think that's going to get in his way. And he's going to be like, oh my God, this is a sisterhood or whatever. So, you know, I, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, Chi Chi, you did let Shangela outshine you because Shangela is a character. Um... Yeah, Shangela is a character. It, it could have went that way with anybody, to be honest. But Chi Chi, you, you could have pushed through on that. Um, Trixie would have did so, so good. So, so, I feel like Trixie would have, and they said that Trixie would have won, probably been in the top two, had it not been for that expired ass milk. You know, that motherfucking bitch. It's just like somebody just calls Milk while he's off of taping and be like, yeah, you got it. You that bitch. These other girls can't fuck with you. You that bitch. And you're really not. A handsome guy. A handsome, handsome guy. Really handsome guy. I think you're a handsome guy, but when you put that shit on, and you know what? When you paint your face without all the shit on you, look like you might be a pretty dragon, but then you just take it to the left wherever you go i don't know where the hell you be going or what the hell you be thinking about and i don't want y'all milk fans out there telling me i'm being biased or whatever because i'm not fuck that bitch um kennedy you brought it you brought it in that challenge and i love what you brought you were funny you had it together you um who were you with you were with Aja, I believe you were. Uh, were you a team up with Aja? Yeah, you were teamed up with Aja, who didn't really bring it in there. But I like Aja anyways, and I'm glad Aja got to stay. Oop, we ain't supposed to go that far. Um, and Kennedy, you look real good on the runway tonight. You really look good on the runway. You know, you brung it. Um, I really like the wig change and all that stuff that you did. You went from long, short to shorter. I really like that. Um, but I still think that you really need to get out your feelings. It's really not that deep. Get out your feelings, bring it. Cause you, you one of the baddest bitches in this competition. If you ask me, you from Texas, and you know you got that Alyssa Edwards thing going on. And y'all some bad bitches down there in Texas. Y'all drag is on a whole nother level. Um, is it just me? But I wish RuPaul would get some new fucking judges, like. I'm tired of seeing Ross Matthews and what's his name, the old queen. Their voices is just so fucking annoying to me. Like, I just, eh. It's so annoying. Get some new judges and get some better guest judges, RuPaul. Shit. You got the coins. <sighs> ben, you is bringing it. You, you slayed them bitches on that runway. Um... Trixie is Trixie, but I like it's, it's something about Trixie. I like I think Trixie is like the most emotional, stable person out of this group. Like somebody actually hugged Trixie as a child. Like somebody loved Trixie growing up. Like he has a foundation. You can tell, like he's he's like secure because he'll be like, mm, that was a fuck up, or be like, oh that that I like that. And moving back, I wanted Chi Chi. 
One thing I do like about Chi Chi, Chi Chi can admit when she fucked up or when her shit was lackluster and when she needs to grow. Chi Chi, you got another chance and you better bring it, bitch. I hope you fucking bring it next time, bitch. You got to. You can't be lackluster. You can't be mediocre in this competition. It's not going to work. It's not going to. You, 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 you got your ass spared because Kennedy is like basically like your drag mother pretty much. And, you know... You got spared because Kennedy didn't like milk. I don't know who who else was in there. Was it Ken Ben? Um Ben. I don't know who Ben would have sent home. Um probably would have been milk because when milk when they were having that little conversation um in the back, it was kinda like uh Ben was like looking at Milk when he was talking like, oh, and all the other girls respect me, and Ben was like are we in the same competition? I, when Milk talks, I think I'm watching a whole nother show. Like, I'd be like, maybe I'm watching the wrong show. Because we can't be watching the same show. But, you know, it is what it is. But that's all I really got for All-Star Season uh, season 3, Episode 3. Ooh, I got over here in less than 11 minutes. Um, Trying to think, was there anything else? I don't think so. But... Make sure you guys drop down in the comments and let me know what you guys thought about this this episode. I thought it was a pretty good episode. Um, I was actually glad to see Milk go home because I didn't really care for Milk. I didn't. I thought Milk was too much in his head and into himself, like just arrogant. And that's a trait that I don't like. You know, confident and cocky and arrogant are three different things. I can even deal with cocky, but arrogance, no bitch. And then she goes. Oh, and all these other girls, and that it, she did. Milk did have a point. Now wait a minute, because Chi Chi had been in the bottom, bottom three, three times. Aja did get back. Who else? Aja got bad critiques. But Milk going up against some other girls. We just don't fucking like you, okay? We don't fucking like you. On that fucking note, y'all, I am out of here.